Hi everyone. So this week in math, we are talking about word problems still, but we are talking about multi-step word problems. So that means sometimes in a word problem, you're not just going to add two numbers together. You're going to have to do a couple different steps. So I'm going to read a book that kind of has to do with multi-step word problems, although it's more of a story and it's very simple. It's not tough, but I just want to give you an intro into it. So this book is called Room on the Broom. And since it's almost Halloween, Halloween's in like two weeks, I thought I would read this book about this witch. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So it says, the witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat. When the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. So right now there's only two things on the broom. There's a witch and a cat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. So now there's someone else has joined on the broomstick. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it to politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the birds shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back and beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden from out of a pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. So now there's another thing. And the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off. That's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down jumped, the, climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. 
They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seeds for the witch and the cat and the dog and nests for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. So here is the final broom. It's a lot cooler than the first one. So all, after you've watched this video, there are two more slides and it kind of explains what happened in this story. But I also need you to tell me how many people in total were on the broom. 